All right. So here we are on the Collab Land website. It's just collab.land. Uh, when you go there, you should see something like this. They talk about how they are serving tokenized communities, which is exactly what we're looking for here with NFTs and ERC20 tokens and all this other stuff. So what you're going to do is just click on start building and you should be able to see depending on which community type of community you want to add your bot to, whether it's Discord or Telegram, you can pick that walkthrough. And I'm just going to walk you through the walkthrough, but show you in video form so that you have a visual that you can follow. So if I click on this walkthrough, uh, the first thing you want to do is link the Collabland bot to your server. And notice that earlier I had clicked on the Discord bot walkthrough, so that's the one we're going through. I'm gonna click here and it's, it should pop up automatically this Discord pop-up. And if you aren't already logged in on your browser, it's gonna ask you to log in to your Discord account on the browser. So I am administrator in a couple of different servers, uh, the Alchemy server, my Chibi Shinobi's community, and the Crypto Leos community. So I've already set this up with Crypto Leos and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards, but we're gonna set it up right now for Chibi Shinobi's. So I select that and hit continue. And I confirm that I want to give this bot the administrator role. And this is important because in order for the Collabland bot to assign and take away roles that of your uh, users, your members, it needs to be an administrator. So we're gonna give it administrator and authorize that. This is the absolute worst part of the entire process. These images for the captcha are actually so hard to do. So I'm gonna do motor bus, like bus. This one's not too bad, I hope. But I've messed this up so many times before and I've had to like click through so many. This is a motor bus, these two are trains. All right, there we go. Got it on the first try. I swear to God, I'm not a robot. All right, so that is authorized and we can now close this tab. And actually if I open up my Discord, you can see I'm in my Chibi Shinobi server and please excuse all of these other <laughs> servers I'm a part of. This is something, if you haven't been in Discord a lot, uh, you'll see after a while, your people are just in so many different servers. So Collabland has appeared. And also um, in our bot section, there should be a Collabland config channel. So I'm actually gonna drag this all the way down. Um, let's drag it all the way down here. Oh, I realized I should have just done this. Okay, cool. So we got our channel there and I'm gonna hop in here and this is where Collabland bot is going to be communicating with you as your as the administrator. So if you just type in uh, exclamation mark help, you'll be able to see a whole menu of all the different commands you can use with Collabland bot. Um, let me hide that. So it is taking Collabland bot a second. Sometimes it just takes a while. Um, I'm gonna cancel that, cut this out. There we go. Sometimes it'll freeze like that because maybe it's under a lot of load, but I've uh, typed exclamation mark help or bang help and it popped up this command menu. The main thing that we wanna set up is a role. So what, it's, what this is, is a token based role. If people have a token, then they get that role automatically. So before we go into the setup, you actually have to create that role in your Discord. So I'm gonna go into my server settings, roles, and then I'm going to create a role. So for me, I'm gonna create a role in this server and this is just for fun. So I'm gonna call this Sushi Master and it'll be, um, let's, let's call it green. And I'll save changes here. Okay. And so uh, you can set whatever permissions you want in that role. For the purposes of this video, I just created a simple role. And what I wanna do here is set up a role. So I'm just gonna type set up role. Now that should pop up a prompt that asks you to select which network your token is on. And this is, uh, immediately it gets a little bit technical, but this is really important to get right because if your token is on the Polygon chain, then you should be selecting that. If it's on a test network like RinkB, then you should select that. And for me, what I'm gonna to want to do is I want to go to my wallet and I'm just gonna pick a token that I already have to build support for. So uh, I called it Sushi Master, so let's click this Sushi token and we're gonna to have to find a bunch of information about this token, but let's walk through it here. Uh, so you do have to be aware that it takes, it, after a couple of seconds, if you don't do anything, it'll time out. So let's just set up that again. And then this time I'm gonna click mainnet because this sushi, sushi token that I purchased is on 
Ethereum mainnet. So we'll click on mainnet one, and then that should pop up another prompt that now says, what type of a token do you have? Is it an ERC-20? Is it an ERC-721? Is it any of these other things? And so this one I believe is OpenSea standard. So I'm going to try to click O. And then it's gonna ask me for the collection name, the number of tokens, the maximum number of tokens, uh, minimum number, maximum number, and then which role I wanna give. So this one is called Sushiro. And so I'll put that here, Sushiro. And then we'll do a uh, minimum number of tokens is one token. Maximum number is minus one for no limit. And then we're gonna give Sushi Master for people who have that. So once I click that, then it shall have, it should have set up that role correctly. And this is how we're gonna test it. I'll go into the lounge here, or actually we have a bot channel. So let me go into the bots channel. And you can see here that right now, I do not have the Sushi master tag i do have a bunch of other things including can't count such a shame uh, but in the bot channel i should be able to say join exclamation mark join that's the command and then collab land bot is going to ask me to check my dms so i'm going to go to my dm with collab land bot and then it's going to send me a link to connect to my browser in order to connect my wallet so we'll go here and connect my wallet and you can use all these different options. For me, it's uh, MetaMask is the easiest, so I'm just gonna connect via MetaMask. And then it says, wallet has been connected. Please close this message and check for a message from the CollabLand bot. So we'll go back to the Discord, and it says, wallet is connected. Please check assigned roles, and it take, may take up to two minutes. So now if we go back here, and I check my assigned roles. You can see at the very bottom here, I have Sushi Master. So the cool thing is with this role, you can actually set up in the Discord uh, only certain roles such as the Sushi Master role gets access to channels such as a Sushi channel. And I won't step you through the, all the steps there. If you have questions, you can let me know. But in uh, Crypto Leos, I have this set up and this is just a proof of concept. We haven't actually done too much with it yet. But there you can see here, there's a private channel called Leo NSFW. And in this channel only uh, people who have Leos, crypto Leos, are allowed to come in. So the whale Leotards, the Leotards, and uh, so on and so forth. But none of the people who are just visiting this server can see this channel. And the way I've done this is in that channel, you can see permissions here, uh, only these roles are allowed to see this channel. So if you're setting token-based roles and private channels for your server, uh, this is where you would want to configure those roles. So that's pretty much it. And uh, if you want to delete roles, you can go back here. I'll go down here and open up that menu again. You can see the roles, exclamation mark roles. And these are all the roles that have been set up so far. Uh, you can click on the emojis to, to do what you want to do with them. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of other things you can explore but that is the basic functionality that uh, many discords might need. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if it was, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.